Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be playing with some new ColourPop stuff that I recently received in PR. I still can't believe that I recently got put on ColourPop's PR list. I'm so grateful and it's been so fun to receive so many of their new launches. The one we're gonna be playing with today specifically is this palette right here called Bare Necessities. Let me open it up for you. First of all, the packaging on this is killer. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can really see the texture on camera, but it has like this crocodile print or pattern on it, I should say. And it says Bare Necessities on the front. It's basically everyone's dream neutral eyeshadow palette. Look how beautiful this is. There are so many different finishes in here and so many different colors. You can definitely do something every day with this palette and also something that's more glam. So I'm really excited to try this out. And they also sent a brush roll, which is really fun. And I'm gonna be using these brushes for the eye look. Look how pretty these are. There's like face and eye brushes in here. So I'm really excited to try that out. And then we also have this right here. They sent this to me. This is the big box of lippy sticks and it contains 48 shades of the ColourPop lippy stick formula which I'm super excited about. So yeah that's what we're gonna be testing today. I hope you guys are excited. Before we get into the video I have a couple things I wanted to mention. First of all if you are not already participating in my not so secret Santa giveaway over on Instagram make sure to do so. I'm giving away your wishlist items so instead of me doing a giveaway where I just piece together what I feel like you guys might like you're actually able to submit your wishlist item as far as a beauty product goes and I've been choosing a winner and it will go until December 12th and every day somebody wins their wishlist item. So if you guys want to participate I will have my Instagram link down below. I put a highlight on my profile called Secret Santa if you're new to the idea and you want to see how it works but it's been so much fun. I'm gonna go ahead and prep the eyes with my NARS tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base. I always start my eyes out with this product now it's just my favorite and also I'm really excited for next week because I'm actually going to finally be posting my skincare routine videos. It's going to be skincare week because over the past year and a half or more, as you guys have seen my skin transform and improve quite a bit, so much has happened behind the scenes and there's so much to say. So it's gonna be more of like a series kind of thing. So that'll be next week. I hope you guys are excited. I'm really excited to finally share with you some of the things that I've learned over the past year and a half. Obviously, you know, my skin's not perfect right now. I'm still on that skincare journey, but I have found so many things that have helped and I've noticed so many patterns with the habits that I create that really helped me to achieve clear skin. So if you've been one of those people who has been curious as far as what my skincare routine is, don't worry, it's coming. Definitely make sure to set your notifications on just to make sure you don't miss those videos next week. I'm super excited. Alrighty, let's hop into the Bare Necessities palette. By the way, you guys, I'm sure you can tell I came down with a cold, but you know, the show must go on. I'm still filming, even though my nose is running. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I tried to paint my nails today. I mean, I didn't try. I painted them, but like you don't realize how difficult painting your nails with a runny nose is until you try it. I literally had like tissues stuffed up my nose so that I wouldn't have to grab a tissue with my wet nails to blow my nose. You know, it was just this whole thing. Anyway, let's dip into this palette. I don't know which direction I want to go. I know they're all neutrals, but there's so many things I'm thinking of. Like I can really do a purple look if I want to. Okay, well, I'm going to start off with this shade right here called Called in the buff and I'm gonna be using the ColourPop E15 well okay I thought that this might be a good all-over base color it might be a little bit too dark no that's good okay I'm gonna take this shade with this brush and I'm gonna start to work this all over the eyelid to kind of prime everything so I'm just applying this from lash line all the way up to the brows all right next I'm gonna dip into this shade right here called hot gossip and I'm gonna be using the ColourPop E16 and I really want to use this as more of a transition shade so I'm just gonna start to blend that on top of the shadow that we just applied and I'm just working in the crease and then once there's less product on the brush I like to buff that up toward the brow a little bit you know what's funny about these neutral palettes I feel like there's so much makeup launching all the time and for a while and maybe still everybody was like like, we need color, you know, like stop launching neutral palettes. We've all seen this before. And I feel like the beauty industry kind of moved in that direction. And now I'm seeing a lot of these neutral palettes and it's oddly refreshing because I feel like for me at least, I use these palettes. Like these are the things and the colors that I reach for every day. So it's refreshing that like, I know I can buy a product and get a ton of use out of it. Instead of buying a palette where you like a few of the shades, but you don't really play with the pops of colors until you know, maybe once a year or something like that. So I don't know, I've been kind of into all these neutral things, especially from ColourPop, like first the coconut collection and then this, you know, I'm pretty excited. Um, I've just been building up that same exact shade in the transition area. 
I'm kind of interested in this shade too. This is called All For You, and I'm actually gonna take that on the same exact ColourPop E16 brush. I'm gonna tap off the extra, and I'm gonna layer this on the outer portion of the lid, and I'm gonna kind of mix it in the crease with that first brown shade, but I'm also keeping it down here just for like a little bit of a soft purple definition. I'm gonna layer a lot more shades on top after, but I just kind of wanted a little bit of that purple in there. I think this is a really nice color. Okay, I think I wanna go a little bit more purple with this one right here. This is called Act a Fool, and I'm gonna take the ColourPop E17 brush, and I'm just gonna kind of layer that right on top of where we just applied that first purple. I basically just wanna kind of intensify what we have going on on this outer edge here. And same thing where once I get enough kind of laid down on that part of the lid, I'm gonna take it and kind of run it through the crease to deepen it a little bit more. Okay, let's get some shimmer on the eyes. I'm gonna take this shade right here called Designer Duds. I'm actually gonna use my finger to apply this. It looks really pretty. It's a nice rose gold, and I'm just gonna to start to press that in the center of the lid, tapping and blending into the existing shadows up against the crease and also on this outer corner. Same thing on this eye. Okay, next I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here called Silk Teddy. This is one of the first shadows that caught my eye in the palette. And I'm just gonna take that on a flat ColourPop E3 brush. And I wanna start building this up in this inner corner. I might need to use my finger. Yeah, that's much better. I usually do like to use my finger when it comes to shimmer shades, no matter what the brand is. I just always get the best payoff that way. Ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna take that same Silk Teddy shade and pop it right here on the other eye. I am gonna take a little bit of that shadow on this E3 brush and just kind of use it to sculpt out this edge here. So it's almost like a cut crease, but a little more subtle. Okay, I really wanna try out this shade right here. This is called Taboo. And I'm gonna take the ColourPop E19. I'm gonna tap off the extra and I'm gonna to start to build this up on the outer edge. I feel like I want a little more depth so I'm just gonna build this up kind of along the lash line right here, and then I'm gonna run what's left into the crease just to kind of even everything out. Okay, I'm just gonna take the brush that we initially used in the transition area, and I'm just gonna take that without adding any more product on it, and I'm just gonna buff the edges a little bit higher. I really like how soft and glam this looks. I'm gonna build up that taboo shade just a little bit more right on the lash line. On just the edge, I kind of like how creates a little bit of a soft winged eyeliner effect. And then I'm going back in with the um, Silk Teddy color, which was the same one that we used in this inner portion. And I'm just kind of adding a little bit more just to amp up that inner portion of the lid. Okay, I'm gonna take this shade right here called Idle Hour. And I'm gonna take this on an L1 brush from ColourPop from that same set. And I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner to highlight. Ooh, that is pretty. I wasn't gonna do it, but I am. I'm gonna highlight the inner crease with this shade. I literally was planning on not, but then, I don't know, it's just habit right now. It's like my favorite thing to do with every eye look. Even if it's soft like this, this brush is actually perfect for those precise scoopity boopity moments, you know? I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and pop that right underneath the brow. That is a beautiful shade and it makes an incredible inner corner highlight. Okay, there is quite a bit of fallout. I think it's from that shimmer shade. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a makeup wipe to clean everything up. I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of press down the edges. Okay, I really like the eye look so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do the complexion. I will have all the products that I use linked and listed down below. And then we'll go ahead and finish up the eyes and then we'll try on some lip colors. So I will be right back. Okay, so I just did foundation, concealer, and powder, and I realized I wanted to film using some of the bigger brushes. So I'm gonna go finish the eyes, and then we will try out some of the face brushes with like bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the shade All For You. I'm gonna tap off the extra, and I'm gonna work this along the lower lash line using the E17 brush. This is actually a great brush for underneath the lower lash line. Ooh, yeah, I love that. Same thing on this side. And then making sure to blend it into the existing shadows up here. I think that's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna deepen up the outer corner with the shade Taboo. So I'm basically just using the same shades we were using on the top lid. I'm just gonna run this along the outer third of the lower lash line. Ooh, my nose is deciding to run after putting foundation on, which is always great. So I don't know how long the foundation is gonna last on my nose today, but. All right, I'm gonna take the E21 brush and I'm gonna dip into Designer Duds. And I just sprayed the brush with some MAC Fix Plus. I'm gonna run that basically right in the center of the lower lash line. This shade looks amazing when you use a setting spray. Ooh, I love that. 
I'm just gonna dust off that same exact brush on a towel and I'm gonna dip into Silk Teddy, which is the shade that we had right here. Spray that as well. But this one goes in this inner portion. Ooh, that's so pretty, whoa. Ooh, I love that. I'm just gonna go back into the brush that we use with that mauve color. I didn't add any more product onto it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of blend all of those shades a little bit lower. This is a really pretty brush. This is the E20. Look how tiny that is, I love that. I'm gonna dip into this shade again. This is called Idle Hour. I'm gonna use that to brighten up the inner corner and then to connect the lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner and this one is in the shade Show Me. It's a really pretty copper. I'm actually wanting to run this across the entire top lash line. And I'm also gonna run it in the waterline. And sticking to the ColourPop theme, I'm gonna go into the ColourPop BFF Mascara. This is just the original black shade called Black on Black. And I'm just going to apply this to the top and bottom lashes. All right, so there's the mascara on. I did get a little bit on my nose. So I'm just gonna wait for that to dry before I try to buff it off. Let's go ahead and try out this brush right here. This is the ColourPop F18. And I'm gonna take my ColourPop Coconut Beach Bronzer. I'm just gonna swirl this in there. Tap off the extra, and I'm gonna apply this all over the face. It's definitely much larger than the brushes that I personally, uh-oh, I put too much on there. Um, it's larger than the brushes that I personally reach for for bronzer usually, but I do like how it's applying everything. It's kind of nice for bronzer because it gives you that all over bronze glow instead of more of like a chiseled contour look, which is what I like to achieve with more um, precise brushes. So I do like that about this brush. I'm gonna go into the brush that I used for translucent powder and just kind of buff over the area that got a little patchy. And then I'm gonna take it lightly around the entire face just to make sure there's no harsh lines anywhere. All right, let's see if this mascara dusts off. Well, hmm, no, nope. I didn't let that dry long enough. Dang it, I'm gonna have to cover it with something else in a second. I really love that bronzer from ColourPop. It's such a good color. All right, let's go ahead and do a blush. I have this right here from ColourPop as well. It's the Disney Designer Collection Enchanted Mirror Blush. So it's a really nice neutral pink color. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and pop it on the cheeks. This blush is perfect for this eye look. Oh, I forgot to use the blush brush for the blush. Okay, we'll try it. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that same blush using the F21. Oh, now we're really blushing today, but we had to try out this brush, so what can you do? Okay, that's nice. I'm gonna try out this F20 brush. I mean, it seems like something that you would use to contour with. I'm gonna use it for highlighter. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Lunch Money. And I'm just gonna kind of use the brush to press this onto the cheeks, which actually seems to be working really nicely. Ooh, look at that. I love this highlighter. Do a little down the center of the face. Okay, so far so good. We're gonna go ahead and complete the look using some of these. I might use a couple of them. So they have the Aquarius shade, which is one of Kathleen Light's shades. I don't think I've ever tried this. So I wanna try this first. I might layer another one in the center of the lips, but I honestly don't think I've ever tried this one. So this one is a cream formula. It's definitely very pretty. I almost feel like I needed a lip liner with that one, just to kind of deepen up the edges. Okay, I definitely love that color. I think I'm looking for something a little bit different, just for this look. Okay, I'm actually gonna line my lips. This is the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in the shade 90s style. So I'm just gonna line and fill in the lips with this. So that's a little bit more of a deeper lip liner. I'm gonna take the shade Dream Date and I feel like this will layer on top really nicely. Yeah, that's really pretty. I'm just gonna take my finger and press that in. All right, I'm gonna step back and assess the situation and then add a little more bronzer with that big brush. And also, since I basically locked in that mascara mark, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Bare Minerals Powder Foundation and try to cover it up. I don't know if it's gonna work very well. Yeah, you can still kind of see it underneath. I normally use the uh, Makeup Forever powder foundation for things like this, but it's in my purse right now, so this one will do. I'm just taking that same brush that we used for the mauve color on the lower lash line, and I'm just buffing things a little bit lower. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of the ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. It's from the Pretty Fresh line. I'm gonna use the Handy Fan. And I'm going to take my sponge and just lightly press everything into the skin. Then I'm just going to use my Glossier Clear Brow Gel. 
All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. Let's go ahead and talk about the products really quickly. So the Bare Necessities ColourPop palette, I do really like the look that I created. I feel like this palette would be perfect for anybody who is just starting out with makeup or if you're somebody who doesn't like super intense looks on the eyes because even though I dipped into some of the deepest shades, I didn't use the black obviously, but I did dip into a lot of the dark browns and I still feel like the end result was really soft. So that could be a pro or a con depending on your preference if you're somebody who again is a beginner and you don't really know how to use neutral eyeshadows this would be an amazing palette for that if you're somebody who likes something with a little bit more of a range as far as how glam you can go you might not like this I don't know if I mean who wouldn't like this but I'm just trying to explain what's in my head I hope it's making sense I just feel like the look is definitely very very soft this palette seems like something that would work well for very very soft looks with that being said I only was able to use a few of the shades so I will continue to use this palette and I will keep you guys posted. The packaging is stunning on this. I feel like this is something that would be perfect for every day just because there are so many options in here. So there are a lot of pros. Um, the only con so far, if you want to call it that, would definitely just be it is much more of a natural soft palette, which is how it's marketed. So, you know, if you're not expecting anything too crazy, I think you'd be really happy with this palette. Okay, so the brush set was really fun. I feel like I was able to create a nice look using these. There's definitely some brushes that I liked more than others. But overall, I feel like they were able to help me achieve a nice look. So I did like this. I'm going to have to continue to use it to see which brushes I reach for. There's a lot of these flat paddle brushes in here. I normally don't use those unless I'm blending out like a concealer. And there's quite a few of those. So I'm not sure if I'll get too much use out of those. I did really enjoy this one right here though. This is the E20 brush. I also really liked this one right here. This is the E19. So yeah, I'll definitely keep using these and I'll definitely keep you guys posted. I do feel like... I was able to complete a full look using this, which was really nice. Besides like a foundation brush, which in that case you could just use like a sponge. So if you're someone who's looking for a good brush set that will kind of cover all your bases, this might be a good one for you, especially if you feel like you'll use all the brushes in here. For me personally, I just don't really use the flat brushes too much. I almost wish there were more blending brushes, even doubles of the same, because I tend to use similar brushes more than once in an eye look, if that makes sense. The Lippy Sticks box is so fun. If you're somebody who's a fan of this formula, I feel like this would be an amazing thing to pick up. Obviously, I have not tried all the colors yet. I've only tried a couple lippy sticks in my life. So I'm definitely excited to dip into some of these really popular shades. I'm definitely recognizing some really familiar shades in here. I feel like a lot of these are like their most popular. So I'm super excited about this. I will definitely keep playing with it. I do really enjoy the lip color that I picked out for today though. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you ended up picking up any of these products because as always, I like to use palette over and over on my channel. Just in case you guys bought the palette and own it, I would love to show you more ways of how I would use that palette. And if you guys have specific looks in mind that you would like to see me create using this Bare Necessities palette, let me know in the comments. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me try some new ColourPop. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!